Five, four, this is three, a really interesting two, matchup. One, fight. Way Robots we go. Five. Chili Daddy has a rear facing top mounted horizontal spinner. And I don't think we've seen that go up against something quite like Sea Dragon's Roar before. No, not yet. It was actually specifically Ooh. designed for vertical spinners, though. The idea is you get these wedges underneath the bot, and then you run the bottom of the bot up into your weapon. Now, I will say Jack, the driver of this bot, is known as one of the best control bot drivers in Bristol. In wow! England. Big hit. Um, and he is the only one from the British Bot Collective to move on to the round of 16. Yeah, it is such a different robot culture over there across the pond, and the robots they bring are always so... Oh, that, <laughs> that fork went flying. Everyone sands forks now. There are no forks left in this match. Wow. It's just weapons. Chili Daddy uh, working as an undercutter now. It is inverted, and it is doing a heck of a lot of damage. And there oh, the weapon goes. No. Chili Daddy has been beheaded. It is now a push bot going up against the incredibly fierce vertical spinner of Sea Dragon's Roar. And yet it is still anyone's game, Kyle. Yeah, Sea Dragon's Roar just doing phenomenally so far in this matchup. Now, if we get down to a control match, Jack is a phenomenal control driver, but he's got very few tools to control with at this point. No forks left. There is your unstick, Chili Daddy getting uh, removed from the wall while Sea Dragon's Roar lays in wait. I gotta say, Chili Daddy not letting up at all. They are absolutely aggressor here. Yeah, they've gotta be at this point. They're out of forks, they're out of weapons. Nice pin there from Chili Daddy. Well done. Oh, then a reversal from Sea Dragon's Roar. And that is absolutely what Chili Daddy needs to do. And the weapon does seem to be down on Sea Dragon's Roar. Yeah, it's real quiet in that box right now. These two robots. Oh, and Sea Dragon's Roar not moving at all. Will it come oh, back no. in time? 44 seconds left of this match. He's saying, please hit me. Please unstick me. Please unstick me. Is it stuck on the ground or it is it dead? Be. We will There's find so out. There's so many forks. And, oh, the weapon. Oh. And was high centered on some piece of debris, so that means that we do have some movement from Sea Dragon's Roar. What an excellent use of your one unstick from Bertha Oh, and it is stuck again. I think this may be more than a high center. Kyle, I think there may be intermittent issues in the inside of Sea Dragon's Roar. It's hard to say for sure from here. Nice pin from the Chili Daddy up against the wall with Sea Dragon's Roar. Still anyone's game as we come down on the last 10 seconds. We will be going to a judge's decision. What a phenomenal match between these two competitors. The judges are going to have a very interesting time with this one. Woo, William looks stressed.